Today, I am going to talk about things you should consider while trying to learn or use YouTube tutorials to crochet your pieces. I know, I know it's not something that looks like or sounds like a big deal, but considering the inbox messages I keep getting, trust me, I had to address this. So hopefully it's helpful to someone out there and yeah we've all learned from youtube but you also need to learn how to translate someone's tutorial tutorial or i'm not saying every tutorial is perfect not all the time or maybe even never but hopefully this video will help so number one of the things to consider while trying to crochet a piece from youtube or any online platform the thing is i'm first going to say material the material is so so important people don't know that when i say oh i'm going to crochet or maybe i'm working on this maybe dress you have to try and wonder which type of material am i using is it cotton is it acrylic is it half cotton half acrylic because when you consider those things it's going to help you decide which type of yarn you should use or how you should work your piece considering on the yarn that you have available and the thing is when you use acrylic yarn i have mentioned this several times the yarn tends to be quite stretchy so you already know that in your mind that oh when i use acrylic i need to do my measurements or this like that because this yarn tends to stretch when you use cotton it doesn't really have the stretching effect so when you're working a tutorial you have to consider what did the person use was it a cotton type of yarn was it acrylic so that will help you if you really want to work the way they are working their piece that will help you have similar results compared if you have different types of yarn the yarn size yarn size is so important even me in the beginning i did not even think i needed to know about the yarn type the yarn sizes sometimes there is dk yarn there is when it's too thin and there is also that that is medium there's that that is large you can both of you regardless of which size of yarn you have you can actually nail a piece the same way but meaning you have to put different things in consideration when your yarn size is thick that means you're not going to have the same rows as someone using medium sized yarn or someone using the smallest of the sizes because that means the one using small needs to have even more rows than the one who is do using the bigger the thicker size of yarn so or weight of yarn maybe that's the right side the right word make the weight of yarn so you forgive me <laughs> i have a cold but hopefully i'm clear enough because i really need this video to help someone so yeah mind the yarn type is it acrylic is it cotton is it silk is it bamboo whatever mind the yarn size or weight is it small like thin medium or is it thick that is all going to determine how you should crochet your piece when the person says i'm using this you may not have that exact type of yarn because some some people are in different countries they don't access the same type where i am i might access them mostly maybe acrylic yeah or even if it's cotton the brand i'm using may not be the brand you're using now i come with measurements for most of the youtube tutorials if you knew 
because someone is not going to sit down and work a piece let me say a large piece it's going to take the space for their maybe storage space it's going to take longer to edit it's going to be draggy for the person who's watching so most of the times they tend to do a small size piece so that it's quick but then it can help guide the person who is watching so what i'm trying to say you have to consider your measurements because my shoulder from here to here may not be the same as yours uh, some people have broad shoulders some don't some people have bigger busts even when they're small size some have small busts even when they are plus size so you cannot just come and be like okay she measured maybe 38 inches for the bust i may be 38 inches we have the same size but maybe you are more or you have less so i think you owning that measuring tape to make sure you know your measurements or your client measurements it's going to help because when the person is crocheting a tutorial they probably use some people even use toddler sizes to make a tutorial for a, an old person yes some people always say estimate for us estimate for us i will estimate for you and say if your plus size maybe if your plus size crochet maybe five inches more but are you sure are you sure your size is the same with another person both of you may be plus size but if you add five inches maybe the other needs six or the other needs four so it is important to have your measurements taken and consider that let the tutorial be there to guide you give you the flow at least the picture of how you should crochet the piece that's the most important part I don't know if this is helpful and if it's not please try and inbox you know or comment below so that I'm able to respond or give you more details because right now I'm just talking randomly I may forget a lot of things and please forgive how I'm talking because I am dying of a cold anyways the next thing is the hook size hook sizes as are as important as the rest of the things i've already mentioned i may do a tutorial using a 4.5 millimeters hook or you may not even have that and also the hook size we may have the same yarn size but choose to use different hook sizes and by that I mean when you use a big a bigger hook or let me say someone who is using a three millimeter hook and another one is using a 4.5 millimeters hook it's not going to be the same reason being you're going to crochet the same thing using the same yarn type but the outcome is going to be different it's going to the thicker yarn the bigger hook is going to make sorry i'm trying to <laughs> peel an orange it's going to help you to be able to have a loose tension so it depends on what you want some people want their their pieces a bit loose some want them quite tight and you 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 should know that when you use uh, sorry You should know that when you use a smaller hook, that it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm done. You should know that when you use a smaller hook, the tension is tighter. When you use a thicker or larger hook size, the tension is more loose, even if you're using the same yarn type. So, depending on what the person is using and besides not even the hooks some of us have different tensions 
there's someone who crochets naturally their tension is tight and then another one naturally their tension is loose so when you're crocheting and your tension is loose trust me even if you follow the same measurements if your tension is loose your piece is going to be baggier than the one who has a tighter tension you're going to take probably less yarn than the person who is using a tighter tension so all that should be considered maybe that should have been a point on its own but i've still passed it out and i hope it helps someone okay youtube description most of the times you can record but not all the time you're focusing and when you're editing you realize you missed out a lot of things or maybe you didn't clarify a lot of things or if, if you had to give each and every detail that youtube tutorial will probably go as long as your piece takes and that is like if your piece takes two days are you going to watch a video that goes as long as two days of course not so some things are me skipped out as minor and we choose as youtubers to go on youtube description you just have to click on the part that says more information so you'll find the description there you get to read what they are asking no like what they missed out in the video sorry i'm distracted you get to know okay maybe they didn't the tutorial was based on a small size but then in the description they've actually highlighted medium size large size so if you want to know the information of that go in your description and try to to pick out the information and also i noticed under that same area there is transcript sometimes some of us our dialects are not so friendly so when we are talking some people may not understand what you're saying and the best part is you can go and click on transcript and you will literally have all the data the youtuber is talking about typed down for you by youtube or the like subtitles or something so you can get that information if you know you cannot understand the person by the way they talk so please learn to go in the description it's so important there is a reason that part is there okay knowledge the last thing i can say is you need to know how old is the video was this the youtuber's first video second video third video i am a youtuber and up to today i have failed to perfect my videos if you notice that most of the times the first videos are usually messed up because we are trying to figure things out and through comments and people saying oh i didn't hear you clearly or you didn't explain so well it helps to improve the rest of the videos so sometimes the piece that you really want is among the first videos made and clearly things were not as perfect as they were they're supposed to be or as they are now so the best you can do is request for more information so that the youtuber can you know give you more details so that you don't struggle with the video because sometimes you can't just go and delete the whole video like okay let me redo the video you know people may not may already be demotivated to rewatch it even if you do it with a clearer explanation so i apologize for that because i'm among those youtubers <laughs> but could you please forgive me anyway all i want to say is remember practice makes perfect if you go on every youtuber or every crocheter or every designer compare their work when they started and now you realize that the improvement keeps coming the more they keep creating it just doesn't happen overnight you can't wake up 
and you're like okay i'm going to start crocheting let me start with a wedding gown you need time to master everyone has a trick behind how they do their stuff so it takes a while and i hope you can be patient and i hope this video has helped someone if i remember anything that i have missed out i'm going to make sure it's in the description like i said go read the description <laughs> so i wish you the best and i wish you an, a beautiful upcoming christmas holidays isn't it so soon anyway I love you guys for your support and please subscribe to my channel i know i have been silent but that's not happening anymore i'm back and let's keep catching up i love you and bye